All right, uh, another signing day has come and almost gone. Um, no uh, bad surprises today. Uh, one good surprise, uh, DJ Law uh, committing to us, and and uh, it was between us and uh, SEC school, and we we're able to uh, get that commitment. So that was a very positive thing that happened. But otherwise, uh, things went about as expected. Um, as I've been uh, saying all off season, uh, you know, the main thrust of this recruiting class was to improve our team speed, particularly in the secondary. Uh, we feel like we've accomplished that. Uh, the, the class was heavy with skill, skill positions, corners, wideouts, uh, safeties, and that was by design. That was our, uh, our intent. And we think that we uh, fulfilled those needs. Uh, we also got some quality players at other positions as well that weren't as high a priority as far as uh, you know, the immediate needs. But uh, overall, uh, feel really good about the class. Uh, we're able to make some really good inroads into uh, the South. Florida was actually the uh, the most players came out of Florida uh, in this class. Five uh, we had uh, Louisiana, Texas. So we felt like uh, we really expanded our efforts this year and branched out, and uh, it paid dividends. And so, uh, and then our typical uh, Utah. You know, Utah uh, signees may seem a little thin at uh, at first glance with with just the three, but we have five that we really can't talk about because they're going to uh, serve church missions and and weren't able to sign NLIs as per the new. Um, NLI uh, limitation rule that was put in effect last year. So, so we did uh, very well in state, which is always our first priority. And then, of course, California. California is always a place that we uh, recruit very heavily. So, with that said, uh, answer any questions you may have. Coach, how much does it mean to get those recruiting inroads in Louisiana and Florida? What's that going to do for the program? Well, we hope it continues. First of all, you know, we hope this is just the uh, the beginning of that. Uh, and really our two main Florida recruiters, Dennis Erickson and Kalani Sataki, did a great job down there. Uh, Brian Johnson in Louisiana, Morgan Scally in Texas. And so we're going to continue to hit those areas hard and continue to uh, make those uh, primary recruiting areas for us. And, and hopefully that will, will continue as far as the success we've had. Anyone you signed today that you think can come in right away and get into that too deep? That's another good question. I can tell you that without a doubt uh, that's happening more and more. Uh, I look back uh, eight or ten years ago, and the freshmen in the recruiting class, uh, you know, I think there was one or two that didn't redshirt in, in those classes, you know, ten years ago. Last year it was just about half that didn't redshirt, and so you're seeing more and more of the freshmen having an impact and playing earlier, and uh, I don't think that trend's going to go away. So to answer your question, yes, we, we think there's going to be uh, multiple guys that, that help us this fall, but I don't want to single anybody out until we have a chance to uh, see them firsthand on the field. Kyle, do you think you got impact guys who can play right, right away at wide receiver? We know we do in Caden Clay. He'll be here in uh, a matter of uh, days, maybe a week or two on the outside. Uh, he was our JC receiver that we, we signed. Um, Kendrick Young, extremely fast, talented receiver from Florida. And then uh, Raylan uh, from uh, Texas that, that we feel really good about. And he's been a committed to us for a long time. And so we think that those guys are going to be in the mix. We're, we've lost, we lost, uh, I think it was three senior receivers this year. And so there is opportunity for those guys to come in and, and uh, play right away, certainly have an impact right away. Now, can you talk about uh, Donovan Isom, the quarterback you signed, and then maybe the quarterback situation as a whole? Will he be able to jump in and compete for the job this fall? Well, the quarterback's an interesting situation here right now with, uh, with Travis's situation, and we don't know anything more now uh, at this point in time than we did the last time we discussed it, which was almost three months ago. There's another battery of tests coming up in about three weeks. However, that battery won't give us the, the final verdict. It's another three months beyond that before we'll, we'll know anything for certain, at least that's as, was, as it's been explained so far. And so that leaves uh, you know, Donovan, who won't be here for spring, so that you know, the guys that are here in spring will obviously have the leg up. But, but uh, Donovan's a big, strong kid that is a, a tireless worker. Uh, he's, uh, you know, he's just a guy that, that uh, is as competitive in nature as, uh, as anybody we've ever recruited. And so it wouldn't surprise me if he's right in the mix, but we'll have to see how that shakes out. Any chance that one remaining scholarship might go to a quarterback at this point? Well, we're going to get the best player available. And um, you know, there's oftentimes a lot of guys that, uh, not a lot of guys, but a, but a few guys that fall through the cracks don't, don't end up anywhere on signing day. And so that's the process now is, is starting to do our homework and research and find out who's available. And there's always uh, 
uh, four-year uh, transfers that have graduated that decide to leave, and some don't decide to leave till after spring ball. So we may, you know, we're just going to wait and see how things shake out. Uh, but we know we do have one available, and we will utilize it somehow, some way. Coach, how does this year's recruiting class compare to the previous two years of Pac-12 recruiting classes? Well, it's certainly the fastest, and that was our objective, is, is to recruit speed. Uh, it was very thin on the line. You know, we only recruited uh, the one offensive lineman, like I mentioned. And by the way, that offensive lineman is doing a fantastic job. Jackson Barton, he's here right now with us. He, was, he joined us at mid-year uh, mid and has just done a great job uh, in all aspects. And so we're, we're related with him. In fact, he was the uh, – Freddie – told me that he was the, the highest rated high school uh, recruit that we've ever signed here and he's uh, as advertised so far.